Alright, so what's going on guys? Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to integrate Google Maps into your re uh, Next.js project. Um, so this is part of a tutorial that I'm working on. It's going to be published, of course, uh, and it's a very exciting project. I'm going to talk about the details in the end. So, so let's get started. So, so what do you do? Um, well, the first thing you do is you're going to come here and then you're going to type Google Maps API like so. And then you're going to go on the platform and sign up and then get the API key. Uh, if you, you can follow the instructions pretty straightforward. And once you have done that, then you're going to come to your next JS project and you're going to do a couple of setup things. So the first thing we do is install some npm packages. So what you do is install this npm package, Google Maps uh, slash JS API loader. I have this version. Uh, the other thing you want to install is this types for Google Maps. I don't know if it installed it automatically, but if it doesn't, then just go ahead and install it. So once you have done this, uh, then you're going to come over to your env.local file you're going to get the API key and you're going to plug that here. Now, one thing to remember is you want to add this next underscore public because if you if you know how uh, Next.js work is you have a client and a server uh, component. So we want to use this on the client side. So if we do this without the public, uh, this next public, we will not be able to access the a API key. So it's very important that you add this to the next underscore public to your API key token. All right, so now I'm gonna close that. Then, so I have the project organized, and um, as I said, this is part of a another the project I'm working on, which I'll be releasing in uh, coming uh, weeks, uh, which I'll talk about more in detail what's going on. But for now, so I have a components folder, and within the components folder, I have a map.tsx. So by the way, I'm using TypeScript. That's what you're seeing, TSX. All right. So to get started, what I have is just a React component, a map, and then here I have is Google Maps. So what we can do is use this. All right. So I'm gonna come to the main page, and we will see map like so. And it looks like we have a problem. Let's see why it's not bringing it up map all right here we go sometimes you just gotta pick the right component from the right path all right so we have a map and it looks like it's missing the following uh, lat long so that's because well you know what? i'm going to remove this so we can start from the start all right so um i was using uh, we we're using this in a dialogue All right, so I have this uh, map component that I'm using, and what we can do is kind of put things side by side, and we can see this action in action. All right, so here we have the two side by side, and why is it not showing? Because I haven't saved it yet. Okay, here we go. So Google Maps is showing up, so let's get in and try to, um, I guess work on this. Okay, so what we need to do is initialize the map, and um, but before we can do that, the way it works is Google Maps. You need to give it a some sort of a div, basically, that the map can render itself into. So the way we can do this, we're gonna start and we're gonna create a ref. So I'm gonna call it a map ref. And it's gonna be a React use ref, right? Like so. And then we can set it to null, uh, like so. All right, so then what we need is we need to initialize the map. And you know, the best thing, so since it's like a side effect, so the best place would be to use a use effect. And I will come here and initialize my depths array like so. All right, so now that I'm here, um, so what I can do is initialize a function. 
and I can say init map and it's going to be an async function which we will see why because uh, when you initialize the map there's some functions when we import the library they are uh, asynchronous because we I get a promise and right away I'm going to call this function all right so let's just do uh, console log and we're going to say map init I'm going to save it so nothing happens if we go to the inspect tab we should see map init so now you see how this coming in the browser that's because we're using a use client and you want use client because it's a use effect we're using um, basically state so you want to use that all right so now that that's out of the way we're going to continue with this so what you need is first of all you need a loader right and that's where you specify the api key and the version so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say loader is equal to let me close that all right so i'm going to say loader is equal to new loader right and it's coming from i think it's not bringing it up we need to bring it from google maps and oh all right so i'm gonna just leave it like this so what we can do is we can say import and I can say loader from and add Google Maps JS blah 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 API loader. I like it so there we go. And as you can see, we need some arguments. So it takes an object, and what you want to give it is the API key. So this will be the process dot env dot. Now remember the uh, we create that API key, so we can say next public underscore maps api key api underscore key like so and then we want to do a version so the version is how often the app should be updated so is it weekly quarterly whatever so i'm just gonna do um weekly like so now here's a thing because we're using typescript i like typescript because it makes the code a little bit more safe so it's saying like uh, what's the type of this so we can say you can either do this the bang or I think you can also just do this string what should work all right so now what we have when we have the loader uh, now we need to get a our map all right so what we do is we say const map const and I can say map all right so where does the map come from we can say loader dot import library that's how you import the different libraries we're going to import another one you will see but as you can see there were like a couple so that's the map now if you see import library returns a if i go it returns a promise right so what you do when you have a promise well you await on it and that's why we use that async okay so now i have a map and then the other thing i want to bring is well, okay, let's leave that for now. We'll get to that when we do a little bit of advanced stuff. All right, so now I, that I have the map, then what I want to do is I want to construct a position. So I'm gonna say position. And this is where like you wanna center the map on. And where does the position come from? So for now, I'm going to just hard code something and then we can use that. All right, so I punched in the coordinates of uh, CN Tower, a, a tourist location in Toronto. So we're going to zoom in on that. So now that we have the location, then what do we need? Well, after this, we need the map options. All right. And the way you do this is we say map options. Okay, is equal to Google dot maps dot map options oh options like so so that's the type oh, that's the type actually of this the uh, uh, map options so then well what are the options so we say center the map on the position now you want to specify a zoom level let's go with 17 and you want to give it a map id so we're just going to say um, my next js map id you definitely want to generate something uh, okay so we have a ta -ta 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 -ta. okay so we have uh 
property L oh they call it actually LNG sorry my bad all right so they call it LNG um, so we use that so now what we do is we're gonna set up the map we're gonna say set up the map all right so the way you do this is we're gonna do const map is equal to new map all right so that's remember the object we got and this is where you start punching in the stuff so what do you wanna there you see how they're saying the HTML element well so we already have that and we have map graph dot current so that's our HTML element and then we give it the map options now it's complaining it's saying that um, argument of type, type null is not all right so that's because remember we did the map ref and it's null so and this thing takes uh, HTML div element so we need to do some uh, costing here or casting here so I'll say HTML div element div element like so and then over here you want to do the same thing HTML div element like so and that takes care of that okay cool all right so what do we do uh, after that well you can just uh, basically um, once you do this actually the map is ready um, you should be able to see the map okay so then over here I think we can start to show it and let's see if it actually works all right so I'm gonna do div and let's give it some style a style height and let's do 600 pixel okay and ref is that map ref whoa okay map map i can smell i swear hmm. okay let's save it and let's see if i refresh this oh beautiful there you go so as you can see we're centered on cn tower and that worked pretty good now what if i want to put a marker on this right that would be cool to have a marker on this so what we can do is we can come over here to where we do this and we can say init a marker all right so i can do const and we'll say marker and same kind of deal await loader dot import library and we can say marker all right and what is a marker like uh, it's a google dot maps dot, that's the type marker marker library like that all right so now i have that and we're gonna go back to the start all right so what do we do with the marker well we need to put it on the map but how do we do that so you have to tell the you see how we got the this map object we need to tell the marker where should it um, display itself all right so the way you do this is after you have the map and we can say um, uh, put up a marker all right so what I can do I can say const marker is equal to new marker all right and you want to associate that with a map so that's the map we got and where do you want to put it well the position is that position right and let's see if this will actually work I'm gonna save it and I think I need to refresh Ooh, there you go you got your marker how amazing is this all right so I guess um, I hope that really helped you guys how to how to um, integrate Google Maps in your uh, next JS project. Now I'm going to show you how I have done it in the kind of intermediate app that I'm still in the process of making the video. So let me show you guys that really quick. All right, so this is the project that I'm currently working on and I'm be releasing it uh, you know, to you guys for free, definitely. And all I'm asking is subscribe, like, share um, because it's going to be a really, really cool project. You guys are going to learn mobile app development back end front end pretty much the everything google maps firebase and what else uh, mongodb i think it's it's got some intense material so anyway so the way i'm using the map in this one is see we have a detail view 
and you can see I am I have a card actually and we're going to be adding stuff to this card but as you can also see I am uh, I have a custom pin so uh, it's like a, it's a flag and you see the animation when I click on it so if I do detail boop See how it kind of drops? So we're gonna be doing that kind of animation on it. And um, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a, an iOS app and that's gonna be tied to this. Uh, it's a real world app, by the way, a very practical app. So I hope you guys are excited for this. This was just a very, very short, uh, very short uh, sneak preview. And please like and subscribe, stay tuned. And it's gonna be released in the coming weeks by now.